Hey, what's up, Strike Team? So I was recently asked in the comment section to do a video on the basic strikes and ways to do karate. That video ended up being pretty long, so I've now cut it up into different sections. And this is the section on the karate chop. Okay, so for the shuto, you're gonna take your hand. It's real simple, okay? Hand, fingers are flat, thumbs in, little curve, okay? You're gonna be hitting with the ridge here. Some people will actually go with the forearm, but I believe the traditional version is actually hit with the actual hand itself. Um, even though some people will try to bash the whole forearm into your neck if possible. Um, so the way it works, real simple, you, you've done your block, you come in, you bring it around and you chop. Uh, I've had two different philosophies from two different high weight ranking instructors on how they send this chop out. Um, so again, you're gonna get many different versions depending on who you talk to, and each one has different reasonings behind it, and they're all valid for their spe specific purpose of how the instructor is thinking about it when they give you the technique. All right, so one of the ways that it was taught to me was sort of from this angle here, where you have sort of like this flag position of your arm, and you're coming in, and you're turning it directly across their throat. Right, so from here, boom. Usually you're holding the arm or something in place and you're going directly across, chopping with this position here, okay? Um, another, ver and that's a really good position. It's fast, it's direct. If you catch the punch, boom, you're right in there chopping away, right? Um, that being said, I've, I learned another version as well, uh, which has a slightly different usage. Uh, and that one was from here a straight nine, uh, 90 degree angle. And the first time I saw it, I thought it was really weird until they explained to me that it was designed as a block mm. to the chop. So you're going here instead. And the way it was explained is if the big haymaker comes, it's like, uh... and that's how they're saying block first. You're not blocking a haymaker, you're not blocking. From here, you're just striking. From here, you're blocking first and then striking. So just striking, blocking first, then striking is how it was explained to me. Okay. And so I, I thought that was very interesting to have two uh, different positions of where you start uh, the chop uh, and then deliver the strike. The only thing now, I know for a fact everybody's going to be like, but he's going to hit you from this side. Would you just keep your hand out? That would work if you just keep your hand out. Yeah, well, the, the other thing too is this is often seen, this is way to do, right? Our grabs are obvious. Mm. So if you're here punching, and say the punch comes in, boom, okay, you're here. I've grabbed this side. He's haymakering because it's the only hand left. I do the block version and hit. He can't hit me. Mm. Well, I won't say can't, but like I do have a guard. Um, the other version is say I have the other angle on this side. So say punch, with the, punch straight this side. Say I'm over here. Now I'm just doing this version. Instead of way out, I have the angle. Because I'm not blocking anything because this side's protected. I'm just going straight in for the chop. So for here, I might start here and just go straight in. Right? So there's different, uh, depending on the angle and what's happening, you can adjust uh, what kind of chop you're going to use. Are you on the inside of them? Are you on the outside of them? What, do you, like, what are you going to do with that? Um, simultaneously, while I believe the traditional version of this is sort of you're chopping directly across and through. Uh, I like to sometimes take that chop and aim it down a little bit. I find that to be a very useful technique as well, is instead of going straight across the throat, is to kind of go down on his throat. It's a very powerful shot. It can also be used to help initiate a takedown. If, switch feet real quick. So if you're going in and you wanna go in for the takedown, you step and you hit, you can hit the person as you're pulling and knocking him over, putting the foot to the other side, right? So you can use that sort of like if you're thinking about the throw. It's the shock. If you've been hit into the neck, you're suddenly trying to adjust the sudden shock that you haven't been hit in the neck before. And that's when you can take full advantage to get on top of the person. And do the actual throw on the way mm. down. Um, again, you'll, you'll notice, like I, I don't want to sit here and pretend like I'm some judo expert, I'm not. I started judo recently to help improve my karate. Mm. Um, but one thing I will say is when I am messing around, I have a friend of mine who's a black belt in judo and we'll be doing some techniques and practicing with each other and we'll adjust rule sets. 
And a lot of the times I can make up for my lack in judo skills when we change the rules to allow certain types of strikes that actually can land with some power. Now I'm not hitting him in the throat like that, but if I'm allowed to do full, like full on cross faces and like other karate techniques into the judo, it allows me to have much more success when I'm working with them. So it's like a lot of these judo throws, of course, learn them, be highly proficient by themselves. But when you add a, the chop before the throw, it makes things a lot more uh, feasible all the way around, mm. right? It just makes it, it just takes the uh, usability of it to a whole nother level where you can actually have to strike before and just unbalance the person with, a, with the chop before you sweep them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, so it, it's allowed somebody who doesn't have the greatest throwing technique are the greatest judo technique like myself to actually land that throw on people. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's a really good uh, technique there. Hey guys, so when I was asked to do a video on the way to do striking techniques, I did not recognize how in detailed we were gonna end up being. And so I'm, just, I'm cutting this up into multiple different parts. So uh, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can get the entire thing. We go over all the basic uh, way she's striking techniques, so I'll be putting those up uh, in the near future. So if you're liking the content, interested in the way she techniques or any form of karate, uh, please, like I said, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you next time. Peace.